I need to finish off repointing the attic wall but in order to do that successfully I'm going to build a small mini scaffold and also deploy a system for bringing up materials into the attic area. So now I've got the scaffold up, I actually need to clean out some of the joints at the top of the wall here because we couldn't reach them the other day, not very well with this little ladder. But now we've got the mini scaffold, I can get up there and clean out those joints. I also need to bring up the stones with uh, my pulley system and mix up some lime mortar so I'm ready to go and get this wall repointed. Awesome.
the reason I created this pulley system is not so much to save my muscles it's more about the uh, stairs downstairs because when I was bringing up the mortar the other day I just had a fear that the handle on the bucket would snap and uh, would get mortar all over the stairs which I sanded down some months ago, maybe a year ago. You may say, hang on a minute, your house is a building site and you're sanding and varnishing the stairs when you first move in. And if you did say that, I would say good point. <laughs> but, you know, this is the home renovation project and we do things a little bit differently. Uh, but we basically wanted to make, uh, make part of it a home directly. So we cleaned up what we could and made it nice. Plus the stairs were pretty disgusting and now they're really nice, but I don't want to damage them. I'm using a mix of three to one. So three sand to one lime. The sand is a quite coarse builder sand, 0.4 millimeters. So three buckets of that. And then one bucket of natural hydraulic lime, 3.5. And what I've learned so far from what I've been doing over the last week is you have to seduce your mix. <laughs> it will turn very quickly from a sort of good quality mix to a two fluid mix. 
I think for me, I've had a lot of issues with the water content of the sand. The bag sand that I buy seems to be quite damp. So when I followed the instructions from the lime, I actually added too much water and ended up with something a bit too fluid. But if you let it rest for a while, and also while you're working with it, because you're not gonna use it all in one sort of moment, it, it, it firms up a little, so it's not the end of the world. Now this is perhaps a little bit too fluid. But I've made quite a lot and I'm going to be using quite a lot of it. And so some of it's going to sit around and rest. In fact, the whole thing's going to sit around and rest because I'm going to have lunch before I start on the wall and doing the joints. This is also being used as a makeshift garden. We lost the uh, greenhouse last year in Storm Kieran. And uh, we have plans to build another one. But in the meantime, Marion's starting off some seedlings here. She can be found in the evening, watering them by moonlight. I just worry that she's gonna fall off because it's a blooming death trap, this place, with this hole here and all that. Ugh. But doesn't seem to bother her. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm not in sh I'm not sure that the mask is entirely necessary really but it's not uncomfortable to wear so I continue it anyway I did have a period where doing it without the mask and I do kind of feel it in my throat maybe I'm a bit paranoid but better safe than sorry I'm going to try out a new little device that we bought kind of a patissiers type thing uh, for making cakes but obviously not obviously specifically for this job so I'm going to try this funnel might work okay did cut the hole a bit bigger but obviously not big enough because it's uh, yeah it's a bit of a waste of time at the moment This is a very long job. So I've tried a few different methods of applying the mortar. And the best method for me is using this like small trowel and then this, which is in French, this is called a uh, long de chat. So that's cat's tongue. I don't know what it's called in English. All these new words I'm picking up, I'm picking them up in French, because we live in France. And uh, I don't know what they're called in English. So yeah, it's a very long, laborious job. I don't know which is worse, taking the stuff out of the joints that we were doing the other day, or putting this stuff back in. It's messy. And the further along I get, the messier it gets because sometimes it's easier just to throw it in and uh, that will get it deeper into the joint. Also because we're working with stone you know we don't have a regularity to the joints and that means that there's lots of little nooks and crannies some quite deep and trying to get it in there is a bit of a challenge so it really really is taking a long time. And I had wanted to finish this wall for this video, but that's not gonna happen. So I've got a lot more work of this to do and I've been thinking forward to what we'll do next in the way of videos. And I wondered maybe it will be worth answering any questions. So if you do have any questions about the project, about us, about anything really, leave them below and uh, I'll have a look and you know, I'll figure something out to uh, respond to those questions. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna have to plow on with this, get the job done. So thanks for watching as usual. Great to have you on board. If you're not, do give us a like and subscribe if you wanna follow us on our home renovation journey. Thanks for watching, cheers.